Good buddy, how'd you get so shiny? Huh? Want me to give that doggy a bath? Man, you look good. So your experience traveling with a Doberman Pinscher may not be the same as my experience because you know every dog is different and they have their own personalities. But from my experience, this guy, he loves to go anywhere and uh, it just breaks my heart to have to leave him. It breaks my heart to go somewhere and not be able to take him because he loves it so much. And he loves to, to see the other animals when they're out. Uh, he loves to make contact with them, if, whether it's barking or just sticking his head out. And if they acknowledge that he's there, he doesn't need to bark. Uh, he just wants to go, you know. Now, right now is a great weather because I don't have to leave the air conditioner running for him. Or we don't have to leave, you know, anything going for him. And uh, we can just lock him up in the truck with the windows cracked a little bit and everything be fine. Summertime presents a little bit more of a challenge uh, because we have to leave the car running for him. And we do. We leave the car running for him with the air conditioner going. And uh, he does really good that way. Now, usually we end up having to leave the car unlocked. That's not a problem because the one thing that he's very territorial about is this vehicle, any vehicle. If he's in a vehicle and he's traveling in it, he's territorial about it. And he has to get the vibe and get the understanding from us that it's okay. This person is traveling with us. Uh, so we try to take him every chance we get. Uh, he is a little destructive on a vehicle. If you see, I've got the, the moving blanket. Moving blankets are pretty cheap uh, that I cover my back seats with. Um, but, you know, he's done <laughs> a little damage Ow. to my truck. Uh, there's some little things here and there uh, you know, that aren't brand new. But it's worth the love and the companionship that we get from this guy right here. Because he's a wonderful wonderful travel companion and, and he feels a lot like having a person with you when you go somewhere he really does he just uh he brings the childhood uh joy uh, back to a lot of things because he just really enjoys it so much and he just really you feel the love and the and the excitement from him when you're there's something new going on and you feel it and uh, you know i really think that healing and therapy and and uh, part of your mind body and soul is uh, healed by dogs, and I think that's a lot of reason that, that people have dogs around to begin with. So. Mm -hmm. Those your friends? <coughs> Buddy, you can't run in front of the car. So it's not a requirement by any means, uh, but for me, I find that he barks so loud inside the car. Now, he usually barks his head out the window, but occasionally when he's switching window to the window, he really gets a good bark inside the car and hurts my ears. And his, his bark can go to a pretty high decibel level, especially in a, a small enclosed area. So I use some earplugs to uh, help with the sound. And it's worth it. My buddy gets to bark and carry on like crazy and... Uh, and I can still hear him, but it doesn't really hurt. <laughs> sure, it's be easy. Nothing to see here, just a little kitty on the pole. Let's see. Can you climb and slide? He slides down the pole and he does sexy things like, yeah. Sexy things? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> Non-existent. I was closing this all to read them, and when I, because when I opened that all, I couldn't see what they said, and it was completely. I had to close this all to even see the other line that 
don't even look in it. Look like you're flying through space. Say fart. There you are. <laughs> yeah. Who's baby you? <laughs>